I was a Mario Brothers and plumbing's a game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. Why'd you pause the game? No. Not again. No, not that one, the new one. Oh. Yeah, sure, why not? Can I watch- ah! Who the hell are you? Isaac. 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 Isaac? Isaac. 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 Where are we going with this? I don't know. What is up? So, we are watching the Mario Brothers movie. This is Isaac. Hi. He just wanted to join us for no reason whatsoever. Yeah. Quick question. Do you remember the original Mario Brothers movie? I remember seeing that shit. So yeah, I got a confession. I actually kind of enjoy the movie, ironically. Yeah, it's like so shit that it's kind of it's funny. It's so shit that I love it. It claustrophucks as a Mario movie, but as a regular movie, it is just hilarious. For like a it's low worth, budget. It's worth, no, it's not low budget. It had a budget of $40 million and it grossed under 21 million. It made less than half its budget back, man. That's like Disney now. Yeah, it's like Disney now. I liked the part where they put Mario's face in Big Bertha's tits. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so how many times have you seen this movie? Once. How many times have you seen it? Twice. I've seen it about five times. All right, so let's get in. Clickety clack, we are back. Let's watch Super Mario Brothers. Oh, oh my God, it, it's Mario and Luigi from, from Mario. From the, from the first game. Uh, um, Actually, Mario in the first game had a different color scheme than the one you see in this thing. Nerd so. emoji. Mm. This is one thing I heard a lot of people complain about, how the first scene of the movie is just the first scene of the trailer. What else is it supposed to be? Yeah, at least it doesn't show the end of the movie. Like every other Illumination movie. Yeah, that's Or true. just any trailer in general. Behold, the king of the Koopas! It's Cody from... S Cody, it's Cody from SML. Oh my god, it's Bowser, like, from Mario. <laughs> no shit. That's kind of the purpose of this entire movie. It's just a bunch of time, it's a bunch of Easter eggs for people to say, Oh my god, it's the thing from Mario. It, it's the Nintendo No Way Home. I remember Matt Pat made a theory saying that this movie was going to be a musical. Well, he was wrong. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> And plumbing's a game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. When you sink a zine trouble, you could call us on the double. We're faster than the others, you'll be hooked on the brothers. Oh, did you did you ever watch that shitty Mario Brothers TV show? Yes, I did, and it's terrible. I have the DVDs. That's why the Super Mario Brothers are here. Oh, that's a sunshine reference. It's not a sunshine reference. It's the one, the one with the fucking um. That's a Mario World yeah, reference. That's Super Mario have, World. <laughs> that's where they has the cape. Oh wait, what's the one with like the water thing? That's not in this movie. That's Sunshine. Save Brooklyn and the Queens and the wallet. It would have been really funny if Luigi was keyed out with the green screen as well. You want to call the number? Yeah, let's yeah. call the number. Let's call the number. I I got it right here. Thank you for calling Super Mario Brothers Plumbing. It's me, Luigi. And if you need service, you just call 92955 Mario. That's not the same number, man. 556, because it's Super Mario Brothers Plumbing. We don't say let's go. We, we say, say let's go. go. I remember when the movie was like the first trailer for this came out, and I called the number. I was so hyped for the movie. I remember I wanted to put their business card in like. The program for 42nd Street. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so funny if you put it because we did a musical 42nd Street together. That would have been so funny. I am so glad we spent our life savings on this commercial. That is not a commercial. That is cinema. That's me to all the critics who hate this movie. All the critics that say that this movie is just a Mario commercial. The Lego movie was a Lego commercial. Exactly. Uh, what about the accents? Is it? Is it too much? Too much? It's a 
perfect. Oh my god, it's Jumpman from. He's even playing Jumpman. Um, <laughs> actually, it's called Donkey Kong. But the arcade is called Jumpman. Um, actually, it's called Donkey Kong. Jumpman is the person you play in Donkey Kong. There's no such thing as the game. Um, actually, they didn't have the rights for the original Donkey Kong. Um, actually, <laughs> Nintendo owns Donkey Kong. So what are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean they didn't own the rights to the original Donkey? They made the original Donkey Kong. <laughs> What did Illumination only get the rights for Mario and not? No, Donkey Kong's no, in no, the movie. No, no, that's not, that's Donkey Kong Country Donkey Kong. That's not Donkey Kong Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck is he called Donkey Kong? He's a fucking gorilla. He, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> because he's an ass. That's why. <laughs> Well, well, well. If it isn't Brooklyn's favorite failures, the stupid Mario Brothers. Hey, Spike. He's from Wrecking Crew. Uh, I was about to say, do you know what that guy was from? No. Oh, what? You didn't know who that was? You didn't know? You don't know who Spike is? You don't know about a fucking dude with Spike? A you don't know about fucking Spike? You never heard of Wrecking Crew, you runt? No. Is that a game or something? I don't yes, know. it's a game. <laughs> What are you, is it a game? What are you, a fake Mario fan? Don't know what Wrecking Crew is? Good luck running a business with this idiot. <laughs> Say that again about my brother. Get this through your tiny brain, Mario. You're a joke. You know what I realized? There's, there's like a lot of parallels with this movie and the original Mario Brothers movie. Like they have an enemy plumbing company. Yeah, like in the original, it was like Scapelli. In this one, it's Spike because the people who made this movie have actually played the fucking games. Also, he, he didn't even finish the pizza. That's a good fucking pizza. At least he left a tip. Oh my god, it's the GameCube sound effect. Oh my god, wait, did you see the profile picture? It's a me. It's like the Mii's from Miiverse, remember that? Oh my god, do you remember Miiverse? That was like a terrible thing. You can only have 100 friends on a Miiverse profile, which is annoying for Nintendo YouTubers. Do you remember Tomodachi Life? Oh yeah, I remember no. Tomodachi Life. <laughs> That's Francis. <gasps> he likes you. Um, why does a dog look like a dog from The Secret Life of Pets and not like a dog from Mario? When has a dog ever been in Mario, you fucks? Oh, yeah, it does look like from Secret Life of Pets. Yeah, but is that a bad thing? It's almost as if it's the same company. <laughs> oh, yeah, shit. Oh my god, I heard somebody complain about this movie saying, Um, why do none of the other humans in this movie look like Mario and his family? Why do they just like regular people? And I'm like, dude, it's Mario. They went into this movie excited to see it. Like, yeah, Mario. They did. And also, this lady never played a Nintendo game. So, And her only reference to Mario was the Super Nintendo Land at Universal, which she has never even been to. <laughs> she's, she's, all she knows is that, oh my god, it looks cool, but I've never been there. You want to know how un- educated she is on Mario. She thought Toad was a chef because at Super <laughs> Nintendo Land, there's a restaurant called uh, like Toad's Cafe or something. <laughs> French? Mm -hmm. This is like in the first Mario movie when Luigi handed Mario a wrench to fix uh, a leak. No way! It's, it's like they're plumbers or something. <laughs> Did you know that when they named this movie Mario, it was a reference to it being about Mario? Yo, what? That's why they called it Super Mario. That's too far. Wait, Mario's in this movie? Yeah, did you know that Mario is in the Mario Brothers movie? <laughs> Would it just be funny if, like, Luigi dropped Mario and the movie ended? No, no, no. Imagine if this was just an Illumination short film and that's how it ended. <laughs> they played this at the beginning of Rise of Gru or whatever. <laughs> hey -o! Hey -o! No, that girl with the backwards hat is actually, canonically, Mario and Luigi's niece. So, therefore, they have an unnamed brother. Or sister. It's probably Wario. <laughs> I let Wario hit. <laughs> My biggest gripe with this movie is that Waluigi isn't in it. Ah, mushrooms. Everybody loves mushrooms. Isn't it so ironic that Mario hates mushrooms <laughs> and eats mushrooms? <laughs> he hates mushrooms, even though his whole thing is mushrooms. Also, uh, you know the critic that never played a Mario game but loves Super Nintendo World, even though she's never even been there? She complained about this movie's stereotype on Italian people, and I can tell you as somebody who is half Italian that it's fucking hilarious. It's perfect, and I don't care. And also, uh, if, I, if half Italian... 
Himalayan isn't good enough for you progressives because I know that people don't consider Zendaya black because she's only half black. So if half Italian isn't enough for confirmation, then my uh, aunt and uncle who are actually Italian, completely Italian, full Italian, 100% Italian, yeah. they did not give a fuck. They thought it was fine and they loved this movie. My father, who is also 100% Italian, loves this movie and doesn't have a problem with it. Dad, as a full 100% Italian man, can you tell me, were you offended by the Mario movies' uh, Italian stereotypes? No. So... Fuck you. Yeah, take this and kindly direct it to where the sun don't shine. Um, why is Mario moving his fork so fast removing the mushrooms? It's so unrealistic. This whole movie is unrealistic. Are you telling me I have to suspend disbelief to believe that the Mario movie is realistic? It's almost like it's a cartoon. It's almost like it's an animated movie for kids. Wait, you're telling me this isn't live action? Are you telling me that these aren't real people? Are you telling me that this is CG? Oh my god, it's Kid Icarus. Oh my god, he's playing an NES like the NES, like the original Mario. He's playing on a CRT television. Oh my god, like a CRT TV, like a TV. Oh my god, did you know that when they added a TV in this movie, it was a reference to TVs? Everything is under control, I promise you. We are very close to fixing this. Oh my god, it's, it's, it's also the mayor of New Kong City. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. She's from Conky Do Donkey. It's Conky Don Donkey. Donkey. Conky Donkey. Donkey. <laughs> Donkey Kong probably has a conky donk. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yo, this is a reference to Martin Luigi being a plumber. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Yo, it is kind of weird how this is kind of like Just the, like the original movie. They go down into a sewer to fix this insane leak, and then they end up in a mushroom world. Or not a mushroom, well, yeah, mushroom world because of the fungus in the original movie. Trust the fungus, guys. Trust the fungus. Trust the fungus. I knew saving Brooklyn was a bad idea. Oh my god, do you see that the, the, the broken background is actually just Mario's head oh, from shit. the original game? Oh my god, it's at level 1-2 because they're underground. Oh just my like god. in level 1-2. Oh my god, it's the pipe. That's actually a reference to the pipes in Mario. Oh my god, you're telling me that the pipes in the Mario movie is a reference to the pipes from Mario? <laughs> Isn't there something like that in 3D world? Yeah, there's like clear pipes. I don't think this is a reference to that. There are clear pipes later in the movie though. That's my biggest gripe with this movie though. My biggest problem with this movie is how little Mario and Luigi are, are together, together yeah, in the movie. I was gonna say that. Like they, they get separated for a huge chunk of this movie. And that's my biggest issue because I want to see Mario and Luigi being Mario Bros. Cause it's called Mario Bros. So why aren't the Mario Bros together in the movie? <laughs> An open world Mario game like this, yeah. like the new Zelda game, where yeah. it's not like different worlds, it's just one big open world. That That's like possible too, because they've done it with Zelda. If they made like, a, oh my, Nintendo. Like if you go high up, high enough, you could get to like the cloud levels, you know? And if you oh, go yeah, far yeah. enough in one direction, it's like, um, there's like a desert and oh my God, you go like underwater. There's an entire underwater world. Oh, Nintendo, hire me. Uh, I, an entire, and I do, I'm not talking about like, you go one direction and then you see a desert, but then there's um, a loading screen and then a non-skippable intro. No, I'm talking about, it just loads. Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! <laughs> That's a little mushroom man. A little mushroom man talking to me. Also, I want I want to remind you something. Um, remember the lady who had never played a Nintendo game but loves Nintendo World, even though she's never even been to Nintendo World. Who said that this movie was terrible? She said she hated this movie. She said it's the worst Illumination movie. Also, Despicable Me said, Three. No, exactly. <laughs> Minions One, the animated Grinch movie. She said that she did not know that it was called the Mushroom Kingdom. She had to look it up because they didn't make it clear in the movie. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's mushrooms in a kingdom. I wonder what it's called. I wonder what it's called! Then it's- this place is- The Mushroom Kingdom! No way. No, no way. way. It's called the Mushroom Kingdom. I have to look it up! Welcome to the Mushroom- And also, the first- 
fucking trailer had the most iconic line that's not in the movie. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. For a second, I thought it was the fucking Dino Hatton. Hello. Oh my god, it's a thing from the thing. Oh my god, look, it's, 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 the castle looks a lot like the castle. Oh my god, they're playing the music from inside the castle walls from Mario 64. You want to know how I know somebody is stupid? I, I heard people say, oh my god, that castle looks like the Mario 64 castle. The fact that they had to specify Mario 64 castle just tells me you don't know Mario as much as you think you do. Because I'm like, yeah, it's her castle from the game. It's not that deep of a reference. It's just Peach's castle. Mario Maker 2, it looks exactly the same. Exactly. Exactly. Mushroom Kingdom he oh, oh. This is a lot like Luigi's mansion. Oh actually there's no mansion in sight. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, there's no ghosts in this movie, so that it's not Luigi's Mansion. Also, can we just take a second to acknowledge the voice cast? Why does Charlie Day make, like, an, an amazing Luigi? And why was Chris Pratt okay? Why Chris Pratt was fine as Mario. Okay, so a lot of people hated Chris Pratt when he was announced as Mario. I think the world owes him an apology, because he's really... Yeah, something about the design of this Mario, and just, like, the what Chris Pratt does with his voice, it just fits. And also, I like how at the beginning of the movie, they had him do the accent to show people this is not gonna work. Just imagine the entire movie, Mario just, Wahoo! Yeah, that'd be so bad. <laughs> also, there's like later scenes in the movie where he's having dramatic talks with people and talking about how his father hates him and thinks he's a disappointment. Imagine if it was just like, oh, mamma mia, my papa thinks I'm a disappointment. Or like, aha, are you are just a gato Luigi. Ha ha ha. Wario time. Who the fuck is that? That's Wario. <laughs> Wario! He <laughs> said the name! I said the name! What are you, the girl who made that review, thinking Toad was a chef? What are you, a fake Mario fan? <laughs> and that's all they say because Mario has never spoken in full sentences before. Even in Mario Sunshine, where everyone else has complete sentences and lines of dialogue, Mario is the only one who never talks. All he does is wahoo! Oh my god, if they make another Mario movie where it's like Mar uh, Mario No Way Home and they have uh, Captain Lou Albano animated and Bob Hoskins wait no they're dead CGI <laughs> just make CGI variations of those versions do what they did to with Princess Leia and like oh god don't even get me started on what they did to Princess Leia oh. it's the only way to fly man <laughs> oh my god it's the clear pipes the clear pipes yeah I need to see the princess it's an emergency a princess though is in another castle oh my god he said the thing shut the fuck up you little shit <laughs> That's me every time I play the game. Okay, so they're messing with you. I don't like it. <laughs> what do you guys, um, what do you want to eat? You know, that girl was kind of right about Toad being a chef. No, no, no. And she said something like, I was disappointed that he didn't do more cooking. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, dude, he's not a chef. I think this is the first time Toad has ever cooked. I think so. I've never seen Toad cook before. Also, the same lady who was disappointed, she, she said something like, why didn't Mario just tell the toads there, hey, there's this guy cooking some good food over there. Like that would, <laughs> like that wouldn't make the movie more stupid. Oh my God, Peach is such a girl boss. She's such a Mary Sue. Oh my God. When will this woke shit ever end? Even though Peach has been playable in Mario games since Mario Brothers 2 and has been a very powerful character in like the RPGs, but... Who cares? Men need more representation in movies. Even though men have been represented in movies since For, movies like, have forever. been created. Good job, liberals. You ruined Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've heard people say Peach is such a girl boss, but she's been a girl boss in Mario since the beginning. Not, no, not since the beginning, since Mario 2. Um, actually, since Doki Doki Panic. <laughs> okay, then Mario 3D World, or the Mario RPGs from the 90s. Um, actually, what about that Princess Peach spin-off game on, like, the DS? 
I haven't played that because I can't find it. In oh my god, you fake Mario fan. You fake Mario fan. You're talking you haven't played a no, no, Princess no. Peach spin-off. People get mad at me because I haven't played Super Smash Bros. Melee. And here's the thing, I've been looking for that game forever and I can't find it for a for a decent price. Every time I look online, it's like over a hundred dollars. So I go to like get these game stores. Because there's I there are a bunch of like vintage game stores. I can't find it anywhere. It's they're never in stock. No one wants to give up that game. And also I don't like buying used games because every time i buy used games it's like what the fuck did you do to it did you eat it yeah literally bro oh my god have you ever been to a friend's house and you go to play like with the wii and like their wii nunchuck analog stick is like fucking chewed on yeah i know it's bro. chewed on like not on what the fuck are you doing to it Let's take a little bite out of it. Ain't no way I never sucked on my goddamn game system controllers. Oh, hell no. Mine were in pristine condition. The thing is, with this movie, I didn't even recognize that, like, she was girl bossing because, like, that's just how I know, like, Princess Peach. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I knew they were doing girl boss, but it didn't bother me because I'm normal. Ugh. Okay. Down the hatch. Mm. Yep, there oh. it is, and all gone. Oh. oh my god, he's eating the mushroom and he's growing bigger just like in Mario. I was gonna say, like, imagine, like, instead of his hand going big. <laughs> <laughs> get hit you lose the power i remember seeing a, a review on like rotten tomatoes that said you know the movie was fine like at first but then they started showing like power-ups and stuff and it was just like what and i'm like that's the game <laughs> what did you expect from the mario movie this is the same website that gave like cuties like a 90 or something exactly. <laughs> and they gave sound of freedom like a 50. sound of freedom has a lower score than cuties which is disgusting that's, that's i remember getting a hate comment i'm not going to respond to but it said something along the lines of like the vin man movie would have been worse than cuties and i'm like dude i i would have never had any underage girls go into front of the camera dancing provocatively in little to no clothing there are so many YouTubers that just expose themselves as pedophiles by reviewing that movie. Exactly. Oh my god, yeah. I haven't even seen the movie, but I've heard it's awful. Yeah, but the critics for this movie are just so fucking pretentious. One thing I will give them, they say, like, it has, it doesn't have a complex enough plot. But then again, it's Mario. Yeah, I mean, like... The plot Mario of Mario is just... Save the princess. Save the princess and step on Goombas. Yeah. You'd be surprised how many critics are bad at doing their jobs. Why do you think we review movies? Because we're the only ones who are good at it. We, we're the voice. That's why we're the voice we're of the people. <laughs> <laughs> so this is all cool and all, but what happened to uh, not having any time to waste? That's, that's another complaint that I'm kind of like, yeah. I will ask their princess to marry me in a fairy tale wedding! Yeah! Well, what if she says no? Okay, first of all, he wasn't wearing gloves before he got burned alive. <laughs> and then it, when he became a dry boat, he was wearing gloves all, all of a sudden. Oh my god, this movie has themes of torture and stalker behavior in it. Yeah, he's the bad guy. You're telling me the bad guy is violent? God, are you telling me that the villain of the movie is doing villain things? Who would have thought? No, because that's what the lady said. She said, uh, Bowser, kind of stalker behavior. No, it's not stalker behavior. It is evil behavior because he's the villain of the movie. It's the song. It's the song. It's the song. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! Peaches, 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 peaches. No, Jack Black's actually in a band. I know. That's why he's always singing in every movie he's ever in all the time ever. Also, the same lady. What did she say now? She said something along the lines of the movie at the end of the day just felt like a competition on who's going to who's going to end up with the princess, Mario or Bowser. No, it does not. Uh, one thing that disappointed me was that we never got to see Fire Mario, but I'm not like a Star Wars fan, so that didn't immediately make me give it a zero out of 10. Um, actually, Fire Peach has like a ponytail. Wait, so does someone have to punch her to get that 
thing off her? Do you think I know every human being with a mustache wearing an identical outfit with a hat with the letter of his first name on it? Uh, because I don't. It's true. He doesn't know who Wario and Waluigi is yet. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Home. I love this. They could just teleport out of there. <laughs> the worst part is that, they, that the Luma could just escape if they really wanted to. What makes you think you're worthy of fighting alongside the greatest army in the world? <laughs> this, this is the worst voice in the entire movie. Yeah, I can see that. It is on like Donkey Kong! Uh -huh, get it? Because his name is Donkey Kong? Yo. You're about to pick on someone your own size. <laughs> I always hated that mushroom. Everyone hates that mushroom. I kind of like the mushroom. <laughs> um, actually, when you get hit with the blue mushroom in Mario, you don't grow back to normal, you just die. That actually kind of made me upset when I first saw the movie. <laughs> Imagine that, that was the end of the movie, though. Yeah, they, he just dies. Oh, this is where another stupid complaint that lady who's never played a Mario game but loves Mario Land even though she's never been there. She said something like, um, uh, since when could Mario turn into a cat? I mean, I guess if you're into furries, that's cool. I mean, I know that down in Japan, they love cats. How uneducated on Mario are you? Mario has been able to turn into a cat for almost 10 years now. It might actually have been over 10 years. Let me check. Let me fact check, actually. Not just a cat, but also a raccoon and a tanuki. It's been over 10 years. Mario has been able to turn into a cat for over 10 years. The game came out in 2013. Shut the fuck up. Get out of here. Oh my god, it's the Mario Kart! It, I, this is my favorite detail in the movie because it's not just the Mario Kart 8 theme. It is like the actual theme that you will hear when you do this in Mario Kart 8. Like when you're the building your own cart, that little detail is just, it just, it just warms my cold little heart. This might be a hot take, it might be a cold take. Mario Kart Wii is the best Mario Kart. That's a lukewarm take. People say, oh, it's too difficult and it's not, it's too crazy. That's why it's so good. Because it's so out of control, it makes me feel alive. I just want to say the cart they give Toad is so accurate to every person who mains Toad on Mario Exactly. <laughs> Everyone who uses Toad always uses the big cart with the gigantic fucking wheels. Also, everybody who plays as Peach in Mario Kart always uses the fucking bike. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, it's... It's Rainbow Road, it's Rainbow Road! You know what this scene actually kind of reminds me of? What? It kind of reminds me of, you know, like this this little game, you know, it's called it's called Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. <laughs> to quote someone who has never played Mario Kart that's seen this movie, they said, and I quote, um, this movie is so woke, why did they have to put a rainbow in this movie? <laughs> oh my god, wait, what? <laughs> actually? Yeah, actually. Oh, that's crazy. Tell me you've never even heard of Mario without telling me you've never heard of Mario. No, more people know about Mario Kart than they do the actual Mario games. And everyone who knows about Mario Kart knows that Rainbow Road is a fucking thing, you actual, actual moron. It's woke because there's a Rainbow Road. <laughs> Tell me you've never played Mario without telling me you've never played Mario. Wait, isn't that technically like slave labor? What? Oh, the Koopas <laughs> shooting, the shooting Koopa shells at, at the carts? They, they just take dead Koopas? And they like they just... extract their shell. Oh <laughs> That's god. fucked up. Oh my god. Blue shell! Um, actually, the blue shell targets the person in the first place. Mario. This is a reference to uh the S Super Mario Sunshine level. <laughs> yeah. No, wait. Is it? Where he has to, cl oh, where yeah, Mario has to clean, has to the, clean teeth. the teeth. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be sacrificing them in your honor. You know, Peach could have easily stopped any of this from happening by saying, I won't marry you unless you let them all go right now. 
Gilly <laughs> Me and you every time we play Mario games. Hey, what is this do? Imagine a 3D Mario game where you could fly with Tanuki Mario like that, you know? That would be that would be dope. I like how none of the family is, uh, like, questioning, like, where the hell have Mario and Luigi been? Yeah, <laughs> Mario? You almost dead to my- <laughs> Also, I remember someone talking about this scene, and they were like, Oh, uh, why did Luigi jump towards the star instead of just holding it there for Mario so they could buy some time? Because the thing was melting. Can you not see that, you fucking imbecile? Oh my god, is that the hammer from the... It's like the hammer from Mario. Is that the music from Mario? What kind of BDSM <laughs> shit is that? What the fuck? I mean, even the shy guys, they're in gimp suits. <laughs> the Super Mario Bros. movie! Yo. Good movie. Good movie. Decent. As a Mario movie, 10 out of 10. As a movie movie, 5 out of 10. I mean, I'm not going to deny that this movie does have a basic plot, but it is Mario, so it gets those 5 points. I'd probably give it like a 7.5. Actually, I'll give it a 6. It's a 6 out of 10 as movie, but Mario movie, this is like a, a 10. But yeah, um, this is a case for a movie where I feel like the sequel is going to be better. I don't think they can really, like, ruin the first one by making a second one, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's like a million Mario games anyways, so... Here's a question. If they do make a sequel, do you think it should be Super Mario Brothers The Movie 2? Or Super Mario Brothers 2 The Movie? Okay, question. Is it better than the old Mario movie? Yes. Yeah, I could see myself as a kid calling this one the Mario movie, and then the original one... Shit. Um, that was the Mario movie. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Isaac, do you would you want to do more reviews with us? Oh yeah, probably, yeah. All right, let us know if you guys want more Isaac in these videos. But yeah, that's been Vin and Finn Reviews featuring Isaac. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Love you.